What is going on? I'm Zedmont. Now, we have two amazing, amazing things going on right now in the main base. Number one, Rocket Choppers. Rocket Choppers are fantastic. I love them. They're great for many, many hits. But more importantly, we have the Remote Hack. Now, I'm going to be focusing this video on the Remote Hack because it allows for some ridiculous operation attacks. Might have some Rocket Choppers in there as well. Can't guarantee it. More importantly, Remote Hack. Now, I realize that warships would get all sorts of more views, but I say screw warships for today. We're going to get into some operation attacks. Now, you see I've got five troop damage statues, five GBE statues, and one troop health masterpiece back there. I'm going to do my best to get some ridiculous, ridiculous hits going, and warships can wait for another day. So on that note, here goes nothing. Typically, I would come in here and Houdini hack this rocket launcher over there, but thanks to the beauty of the remote hack, we don't have to worry about that. There should be enough cannons nearby to get that, and then we're going to let our Zookas just clear up this right-hand side. Now, one thing about Centaur, you see these cables right here that go all the way to the core from the shield gens? Those are the perfect, perfect guide to show you exactly where 45 degrees goes. So that is the exact path our Zookas are going to walk on. So we can plan this hit fairly well and just use our Zookas and let our Zookas get shot in the face, let our Zookas die. That is our only role for our Zookas right now. It would really suck if Brick died, but that is also fairly likely to happen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get all of our troops into here. I don't didn't plan on getting all of the shield gens, just half. We're just getting slightly closer to that core. Now we can start walking all of our troops. We are about to lose the delay. Not super concerned about that, but you see just how perfectly all of these troops walk. And now we're going to go back into here. This is going to be scary, dangerous, not pretty, but once we get back here, we should be able to go something like this. We're going to use all sorts of smoke, trying to get as much coverage as we possibly, possibly can. And now that we are about to come out of smoke, I am going to shock right about here and right about here. That should be able to get all of the things, I hope. And then Brick and her battle orders are going to get us clearing all of this stuff. Um, probably should throw some critters over here. And now next up, we need a shock right about here to get this rocket launcher happening. If you're wondering why the heck I'm not using uh, my remote hack on that rocket launcher, I was really, really hoping that we could get it down without having to flare it, but it looks like we're going to have to flare up close and personal. And then as soon as that goes down, we're going to get the heck out of Dodge, running away from everything, and we should be able to pull off a centaur solo. Now, centaur solos are oddly satisfying just because there's so much stuff in that one little area. Now, we are going to have to burn the core. I don't think we're going to have any difficulties doing that because we've got all sorts of statue support. Let's get rid of this mortar because it's going to help keep our critters alive a couple seconds longer. And now, down goes the core. So attack number one, we are going to pull off the solo, which is always fantastic. So I'm going to do my best to show all good attacks in this. They are all going to be coming to you with live me showing GBE, no replays. I don't can't stand showing replays for whatever reason. Anyways, that's attack number one. Hopefully it, you enjoyed it. Back in a second. This is the one I've been chasing for a long, long time, trying to get an Alamo solo. Now, we're missing some rockets in there, but we've got machine guns at the back. So an Alamo solo has to line up basically absolutely perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a couple boats of bombardiers. We are going to remote hack there. I'm going to remote hack back here as well. And then we're going to bring all of our troops into here. And I'm going to do my absolute, absolute best to get all the way back into there with all of our troops. Now, I am not super duper confident we're going to be able to solo this. I think there are too many defenses for us to be able to solo it. Those machine guns add a wrinkle that I am not super duper keen on as we try to get the remote hacks going as we are walking back there. Now, if you're wondering why the heck I've brought Everspark instead of Brick, the reason is very, very simple. We need 
to worry about all of the defenses that are going to be shooting our troops in the face. So I am going to get all of our troops back here, trying to get those critters to help keep some of our stuff alive. And now we're just going to have to keep these machine guns shocked. Having to shock those machine guns make this attack normal than most uh, Alamos, but I'm really, really counting on those bombardiers to get that down very, very... There we go. So now that we're in this position, we're fairly strong. This is usually a mortar where that flamethrower is, so that helps us a little bit. Not a ton, but we have the majority of our troops. Uh, the Zookas were going to die regardless. I'm not super concerned about them at this point, but I am a lot bit concerned about all of these boom cannons and sniper towers and things, so I'm going to be hitting the hack button, trying to keep all of this stuff shocked as long as I possibly, possibly can, and then just working our way to the core, hoping not to lose too many bombardiers, because if we lose too many, there's no chance we can burn through that shield. Now, um, the beautiful thing about an Alamo is that it goes all the way down to Foxtrot. You can actually spawn um, Alamo on Foxtrot, which is terrible for a five-member task force, but um, it actually works out for us. Now, I am on uh, Stronghold, I believe, at the moment, so... Not the highest level of operations, but also not the lowest where Alamo can be spawned. So trying my best. I have come so close to Alamo solos in the past, but I've never been able to finish it off. And that is where the remote hack is so, so critical. We are going to back the heck off, get away from all of those sniper towers, and see if we can actually finish this thing off. Hoping not to get into the range of those machine guns. Of course, bombardiers love to move forwards. But I think at this point, we have managed to clear enough of a hidey hole that they're going to bomb away at that core, and it's going to be very, very close. That I probably should be... You know what? Let's clear the core. I don't need any other defenses gone, so we're just going to sit here, let all of these bombardiers hammer away at the core, and just hope for the best. If Everspark was alive, we would have a couple extra critters, which would help us for sure. Uh, we don't have the benefit of the Zuka tribe because... Obviously, we're using bombardiers, but all that range managed to get us out of the range of the boom cannons and mortars that are down below the core. So I am hoping I have done a rogue solo. I have done a fang solo as my battery almost dies. And this looks like we are going to land my first ever Alamo solo. Now, I am not the first person to do this, but I am super, super stoked on this. So an Alamo solo using the remote hack. And there were some extra spicy bits to that, the machine guns at the back, the rocket launcher down here, so boom, shaka, laka, Alamo solo. Now, a lot of task forces can do Alamo in three, fewer can do Alamo in two, and suddenly I've got Alamo in one underneath my belt, so pretty stoked on that. Do stick around, I will continue, hopefully get some more attacks coming that are going to be as exciting, but it's going to be pretty tough to top that one. Ridiculousness. So we've got a Chimera, and I'm going to try to solo it using Rifleman. Is this a good idea? No, no, it's really, really not. But I don't think a serious operation attack would have gotten me to where I needed to be to get this next hit happening. So we are going to bring in all of our riflemen, try to sneak them underneath all of these rocket launchers. Typically you would use three smokes there. I'm trying to save a smoke just for something to do. Next up we are going to get rid of this shock launcher right here. I can't see that being any sort of concern simply because there are so so many boom cannons around. As our riflemen try their best to get rid of this rocket launcher on the left-hand side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drop all of our rifles on this left-hand side, and we're going to eat every single cell. Now, little-known glitch or trick, I don't know what you want to call it, if you kick someone in the middle of their operation attack, all of these cells come back, and it's as if their attack didn't happen. So if you're ever super concerned about like a maze core hit or a chimera hit where someone's going to eat all the cells, then just tell them, hey, I'm going to attack. Please kick me if I screw up. Now, the problem is if they try and kick you and your attack's already ended, you're going to get nothing good of it. You're just going to kick the person. So I always tend to throw critters on a far, far away power cell. That way it guarantees that your attack will keep going. Now, are we going to have enough health and enough damage to burn that core? I doubt it, but I figured let's get some riflemen in here. I have never seen anyone do a rifleman solo on Chimera. 
I've never heard of it. Hopefully, never, no one ever tries it again. I've seen a solo using warriors on Chimera. That was a bit of a hack, though, because there were what was called wanks, which was a bug where all of the warriors had the stats of tanks and cost as much as tanks. I still remember that live stream where I couldn't figure out where all my gold had gone and I was paying tank prices for warriors, which I would do again in a heartbeat because it was absolutely, absolutely amazing. I really, that was one of those bugs where I wish they would actually try and implement that once in a while just as a complete and utter ridiculous, ridiculous thing to do. All of the people with ice statues and actually cared about defenses and stuff would probably riot, but it would be so, so worth it. It was so much fun. Now, we are going to park all of our riflemen right in here. We have 193 GBE, so we should be able to shock all of the things. We're going to go one, two, three. That is all I'm going to shock at this point. Don't need to shock the machine guns or the flamethrowers or anything I don't think. We're going to throw one more battle orders. One, two, three shocks again. One more battle orders yet again. And look at this. All riflemen solo on four Lorn Hope of Chimera. So had to back up that Elmo with something. Hopefully Rifleman was the right choice. Obviously we don't have Rifleman tribe boost, but I figured let's do something silly. So I'll come back with one more hit. I don't know where I'm going to go from this, but do stick around. I have, don't think I've ever done the right side shields on Green Court, so this attack is likely going to go poorly, but... I figured let's end off with something new and different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two, three, all of my Zookas up into here. And then we're going to throw this flare. And I don't know this walking path. This is part of the problem. We need to keep the delay, but I don't know the walking path. And we're going to get fairly far from shore. So I'm going to have to guess a little bit as to where the heck they're going to go, which is going to frankly be a problem. I'm going to go something like this and just hope that I can short circuit their path fairly well. We're going to flare like this. Come on. So far, so good. Now, I am not going to throw any shocks. I'm just going to hope that I can flash kill that thing right there. Boom! Did not get the flash kill. So, yes, yes, we did. So, no shocks. We've saved a ton of gunboat energy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go something like this. I'm going to drop over in here. I'm going to damage that right there. I'm going to get Everspark up in there. And now we're going to go like this. And now I'm going to flare that right there. And I'm going to press the hack button. Everspark should shock all of the things. Look at that. There we go. So the Bombardier's trying to get this front, front shield gen. We're going to be a little bit low on damage, but we still might be able to get it. Nope. I think all of my stuff got blasted. So should still be able to barrage that down. We're still doing fairly, fairly well. Just waiting for that flare to expire. And now that that is done, I'm going to try just waiting for that flare. Come on, flare. Now we're going to go something like this. And now I'm going to walk over into about here. And I'm going to use a remote hack right there, trying to get rid of that mortar. That'll also distract all of those flamethrowers is my hopes and dreams. And worst case, I can hopefully sneak over into here and not have to worry about that stuff anyways. So essentially using that remote hack as a temporary shock looks like it's not going to go down, but we can just do something like this. We're going to flare that mortar right there. And now I think we can get three shields. We definitely can't get four shields. But I'm also going to save some gunboat energy and get rid of that rocket launcher right there because that's going to help the next attacker get towards the core and that back shield. So this is hopefully going to set up getting green, co green court down in two attacks. I can't guarantee that. I'm not going to stick around for that. This is the last attack I'm recording, so I will not be showing any follow-up on this. I will let you know in future videos if it actually went down or not, but for right now, it is all about setting up so that we can go over into here. Not going to eat too many cells because the next attacker is going to need those. And now we're going to try to come up here and get three shields. Now, I've never gotten three shields on Green Court, but I've never tried to get three shields on Green Court either. So this attack 
going fairly well. Pretty happy with this. We now have two and three quarter shields. Now all we need to do is get back to shore so I'm not wasting all of the gunboat energy for the core hitter. So I probably would... Um, retreat right about now but instead we're going to come back in here and I'm going to do my best to get rid of that mortar right there which is going to help our troops drop on our next for our next attacker a little bit better so next goal is to get rid of that mortar going to need two more cells to explode and then I'm going to flare as soon as that is an option come on don't want to waste any more cells so I would call this a success. I'm very curious to see how much gumbo how much health is left on that front front shield gen. I'm going to save for one more artillery just because and then I'm going to retreat. So we're going to pre-click retreat and then I'm just going to keep tapping on this. I, should, I don't even need a retreat. We're going to run out of time. So artillery did not get three shields. Anyways, that is all for me. As always, thank you for coming in. Hopefully you enjoyed the Operation Attack video. A little bit of a change from the standard monotony of the warships. I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmont. Peace!